When it comes to adding and subtracting fractions, we often jump right to the rules. But what if I told you there was a better way? Instead of focusing on procedures, let's help students understand conceptually. Have you heard of unit fractions? When adding fractions like 3 fourths plus 2 fourths, we can first start by breaking those fractions down into unit fractions, the smallest unit of that size. For example, 3 fourths can be thought of as 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth or just one-fourth and one-fourth and one-fourth. Therefore, three-fourths plus two-fourths could be considered like one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth, and we could ask the question, how many fourths altogether? And it's pretty simple to see that there's five-fourths altogether. We didn't have memorized rules. We didn't have to confuse students with keep the numerator, change the numerator, keep the denominator, change the denominator. We don't need to get into any of that if we think about things conceptually, at least first. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I read those fractions like 3 fourths and 2 fourths instead of 3 over 4 and 2 over 4. That was done very intentionally so that we can lean into the conceptual idea that the fourths, the denominator, is really the size that we're talking about with the pieces. So 2 fourths is literally 1 fourth and 1 fourth. Instead of jumping right to the rules, we first want to build on that conceptual understanding.